The only thing that jumps out at me is that we had a team out there that was playing at the top of their game, and we had a team that was playing, uh, I mean, very much so on top of their game, and we had another team that was not nearly what they had to be tonight. I uh, was very, very impressed with how hard and how quick and how smart the game played. I was uh, disappointed that our was, and uh, the difference in the, uh, in the speed of the game, the difference in the focus, a little back on the heels all night. Until the third period, I thought we played pretty hard. I was, uh, I was not. I thought it would be a real fast game because I thought both teams would come flying, and uh, one of them did. Questions for the student athletes? Scott? Scott Walker, U.S. Marshal Gamblin. Uh, Kevin Merrick has made this game seem a little bit like a microcosm of the season to some degree. You know, a slow, shaky start and then some real inspiring uh, hockey down the stretch, but in, in the end, uh, too little, too late. Would you agree with that and just reflections on the season? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think tonight was, we, we showed both teams that we were this, this year. Um, the first two periods, we just didn't didn't bring it. Um, we weren't ready for, for how well Maine was playing and we didn't match their intensity. We lost all of our battles. And finally when third period came around we knew we had to we didn't have that much time left. We started kicking it into gear and in any playoff game you can't do that. And Maine played well defensively, we'll run their lead. And you know, they they get their goal at the end. You know, it was only a matter of time because we, we really we set ourselves up for it. More questions for the student athletes? Scott McLaughlin, from the Athletic Press. Ken, what do you think accounted for that so sour guys just not ready or was it something else? It, it seemed that way. You know, it seemed like we went out there and we were back on our heels from the beginning of the game. And, you know, it, it, Seemed like they really just came at us and we weren't expecting them to. And, uh, it, it was just a poor start and like I said, you can't, you can't do that. Kev, okay, Jake Snyder, Daily Free Press. Can you just kind of talk about that 5-0-3 in the second period and what kind of happened to you guys that didn't get any goal about that? Well, you know, I think our power play the, for the past couple weekends has been um, you know, pretty poor. and. Once that happens, guys start getting frustrated. We start overthinking it and get away from simple plays. And we just try to force a lot of plays there. And that could have been a huge uh, momentum changer for us. And the guys going out there have to know that. And we have to, uh, you know, take pride in going out there and being on the power play. And like I said, for the past couple of weekends, we haven't done that. And it really sucks the life out of the team. And we, uh, we came at us. And we had a few glimpses of um, Polk and, and, and we had to turn things around, but they just kept on uh, kept on coming and you know, hats off to them. They put a heck of a college hockey game and they're a great team and uh, wish we were all looking much the season. More questions? Mm -hmm. There was a lot more energy on the bench and the guys are feeling pretty good, you know, that we had uh, we had something going on, we had a chance. And uh, with the last goal, it was, uh, it was just really bad breaking for the team. Anything else final for the student athletes? Larry? Larry, 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 the kind of thing where he makes a big save, their bench gets going and, and you know, kind of starts to feel like maybe things aren't, uh, aren't all going against them anymore and, you know, they, they did well in the transition, they're a great transition team and they created a great playoff <coughs> and, uh, you know, get the goal. We've been talking about that all year, we just couldn't get out of our game. Uh, it was not just the season that we took a lot of stupid numbers. We want to play physical, but we've got to be much smarter than that. And we had some guys that uh, 
were frustrated probably the way they were playing. And, uh, and I think that was, you know, that's probably what, what caused the problem. When we, when they, when we scored the, the, uh, the second goal to make it 3-2, uh, the problem was the penalty they called on me was just something was wiped off now. And now we run, we run man down. And that's what it's called. So we had the chance in the breakaway, but they scored right back after that. Uh, it was a 5-5 situation with the money that over went nothing, but uh, I, thought we, I thought one of the only things we did tonight was Joe Pellin was pretty well. Uh, I don't know how many we had. I know you had the last power play goal. You had two power play goals. Yeah. Um, the last one was, you know, in desperation when we were down the other end trying to get one ourselves. So, uh, but the best power play in the nation, if we take you know, a third of the game off, killing penalties is, is uh, insanity. A good definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And uh, we did the same thing over and over again all year long. Did you get that, Steve? Okay.